we do not have the answers to development and we have to come to it, we have to learn it and you can only learn it through evaluation. In the very beginning of the development field, we thought the poor were ignorant. They have to be educated, and through education, they'll become middle-class consumers. That's not true. They're not ignorant. They actually know what is useful for them. And because they know what is useful for them, they're not buying these things that we are producing. An innovation depends on an evaluation to become an entrepreneurial activity. I see the evaluation as like a linkage between innovation and entrepreneurship, and we have to develop a new style of evaluation. There's been many examples of products that are good products, but they don't necessarily work the way you expect them to. We did a survey of portable solar lighting device users in Uganda. There are several key attributes that we settled on after getting the results of the survey charge time, discharge time, water resistance, brightness, and we brought them back here to MIT to test them. So we wanted to do this using actual sunlight, so we decided to do this on the roof. We looked at the ability to charge in cloudy weather. We looked at how bright the lanterns were. We looked at the ability to light up a large room. What we've created is a comparative ratings chart that a decision maker at uh, USAID or an NGO could use in order to help inform their procurement decision. It's really important to evaluate the product as it's actually used rather than based on just the design. What do you do about experiments when you don't even know what the relevant conditions are? It's so hard when you're sitting in a lab at a place like MIT from the outside to really understand what's going on in the field. There are multiple uses for a solar lantern and they're not all what you might think. <laughs> Another way that people have used a lantern is for phone charging. And that's actually a very critical feature for many people. In fact, we found that people might be more interested in the phone charging than in the light aspect of the lantern. So that was actually a big insight and helps us kind of reflect that what we think a product might do or what our desire for development is may not actually be reflected in how people use a particular product. The preference of having light may be less important than preference of having connections. The goal of our study was building a comparative rating methodology that can really affect uh, a, a multitude of different products that are designed for the developing world. I think the, the big challenge for us is to get a lot more voices into the process using some innovations in crowdsourcing. If we can make evaluation better and clearer and more thorough and available to the whole uh, ecosystem of innovators, both here and throughout the developing world, uh, everybody could win from that. We're developing the framework that will make it much easier for buying agencies and other organizations to do these evaluations. So not only improve the product, but improve how the people get the product. Well, next product evaluation, we are doing uh, water filters and also water testing kits. It's the right moment with the kind of leadership we have at USAID, and I am just very fortunate to be part of that moment.